There are four types of transformations, one of which is a rotation. A rotation is an isometry, which means the beginning image and the new image are going to be congruent. You need to know three key things when you are performing a rotation. The first thing is a point of rotation. Otherwise, you're just going to be rotating in space. Secondly, you need to know an angle of rotation. And that tells you exactly how far to rotate. And last, you need a direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise. So to make this a little more specific, I've drawn a little diagram here that shows rotating point A to A prime about point P x degrees counterclockwise. So again, the first thing you need to know is if you have an image or a point, where are you going to rotate it about? Because this distance between your point and where you're rotating needs to be constant or congruent to your new image. The second thing that you need to know is how many degrees. So you're not going to have x, you're going to have a number like 30. So this would be about a 30 degree rotation and last the counterclockwise. If I had said clockwise, we would have rotated it, not in this direction, but it would have been over here. So I guess I could call this a double prime. So a double prime would have been a clockwise rotation, x degrees about point P. So again, the three key things that you need to know when you're performing rotation, the point that you're rotating it about, how much you're rotating, and in what direction.